After a year spent at home, there is no question that uh, moms are struggling, many of them struggling mentally from winter blues to navigating uh, with all the kids' activities at home. Kirsten Joyce joining us with some advice for those still facing this challenge. It's been quite a year for parents. Certainly has, Brian. And the New York Times has been writing some in-depth articles on moms who had to leave the workforce, stay home with the kids when schools closed. It also created a primal scream line. This is a phone number for any of you to call and vent in any way you want. Here's a snippet. The floor is yours to yell, laugh, cry, or vent for a solid minute. I just wanted to say, I'm so sick of my kids. This pandemic has made me realize that maybe I'm not cut out to be a mother. I am doing my sixth load of laundry today. Oh, God, every day I think I can't do this again. But then I do. I get it. I get up and I do it because that's just what parents do, right? Right? It's unrelenting. It's overwhelming. Hang in there, moms. You're getting through. Now, we caught up with Dr. Claire Nikogosian, a clinical psychologist who says there's something really significant about hitting the one year pandemic mark. What we've gone through is like a global pandemic that's created a grief response that we're mourning the way that we lived our lives. We are mourning the way that we were able to show up at work and our kids were able to show up at school and all those activities and connections with family and friends. Mm -hmm. So I think that there's this incredible loss and um, here we are a year later and we still have so much uncertainty. And I think that's what mentally creates more psychological distress for some people. Here are some tips. Dr. Nikogosian says acknowledge what you're feeling, even if it doesn't sound good. But she says this isn't the time to dwell in negative self thoughts. Get those out of your head. Highlight your strengths. And don't evaluate it every single day. Look at the bigger picture of life. You are getting through this. Most importantly, look after your own mental health. Carve out at least 10 minutes a day to do something for yourself. She just published a book called Mama, You Are Enough, which has tips for those struggling. There's also an audio version as well, because really, who has time to read books. And if you need that number one more time for the primal scream line, there it is. 212-556-3800. Just let it out, moms. Denise, come on.